Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help crack prelims. So let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. Consider the following statements. Dengue is a mosquito-borne tropical disease caused by the positive strand RNA virus. Wolbachia bacteria is used to control the spread of dengue. We have to select the correct statement. Both these statements are correct. The correct answer to this question is option C. Dengue is a mosquito-borne tropical disease which is caused by the dengue virus. Genus is flavivirus, transmitted by several species of mosquito within the genus Aedes, principally Aedes aegypti. Flavivirus is a genus of positive strand RNA viruses in the family Flaviviridae. This mosquito also transmits chikungunya, yellow fever, and Zika infection. Recently, researchers from the World Mosquito Program have used mosquitoes infected with Wolbachia virus to successfully control dengue in Indonesia. Moving on, consider the following statements. Human papillomavirus, HPV, causes penile cancer only in men. The virus is transmitted through intimate contact like sexual intercourse. Currently, there are no vaccines available for human papillomavirus. So, what do we have to do here? We have to select the correct statement. The first sentence is incorrect. Why? Because human papillomavirus can cause cervical and other sorts of cancer in women and penile cancer in men. So, the first statement becomes incorrect. Second is correct. Third is incorrect because there are certain HPV vaccines available. So, we have to select the correct statement. The correct answer is option B. Recently, a new study shows that the HPV vaccination in combination with cervical cancer screening reduces the cancer to a point where almost no one develops it. HPV causes penile cancer in men and cervical, vaginal, anal and vulvar cancer in women. Also, it can cause throat or rectum cancer in both men and women. The virus is transmitted through intimate contact like sexual intercourse. There are various types of HPV vaccines including the quadrivalent vaccine Gardasil which protects against four types of HPV, HPV 16, 18, 6 and 11. Moving on, the latter two strains cause genital warts. The other kind of vaccine is the bivalent vaccine, Cervarix, which protects against HPV 16 and 18 only. The third type is a non-valent vaccine, Gardasil 9, which protects against 9 strains of HPV. Moving on, consider the following statements regarding Molnupiravir. Molnupiravir was originally developed to treat influenza and Molnupiravir works by causing viruses to make errors when copying their own RNA. So, we have to select the correct statement. Both these statements are correct. The correct answer is option C. Recently, researchers have engineered enzymes to enable faster manufacture of Molnupiravir, an investigational oral antiviral being developed for the treatment of COVID-19. Molnupiravir works by causing viruses to make errors while copying their own RNA, introducing mutations that inhibit replication. And manufactured by Merck, the drug was originally developed to treat influenza. It has been submitted to the US FDA for review as a COVID-19 treatment. In India, the Optimus Group recently announced the results of Phase 3 clinical trials, which found 91.5% of patients Given the drug test, RT-PCR negative compared to 43% in the placebo group. Moving on, consider the following statements. Among these states, Karnataka has the highest number of leopards recorded. Region-wise, Western Ghats have the highest number of leopards. Leopards have been listed as vulnerable in IUC and red list. So, we have to select the correct statement. The first statement is incorrect because among the states, Madhya Pradesh has the highest number of leopards, followed by Karnataka and then Maharashtra. Region-wise, Central and Eastern Ghats are Central India and Eastern Ghats have the highest number of leopards. Second is also incorrect. 
Third is correct. That leopards have been listed as vulnerable in the IUCN red list. So the correct answer should be option C. That is three only. The leopard faces an 83% increased risk of extinction in North India due to roadkill. According to a new international study, the study has been published in the journal Global Ecology and Biogeography. The largest number of leopards have been estimated in Madhya Pradesh, followed by Karnataka, and then Maharashtra. Region-wise, Central India and Eastern Ghats have the highest number of leopards at 8,071. Western Ghats has 3,000, approximately 3,000 leopards. Shivalik and Gangetic Plains. Approximately 1,200 and northeast hills 141 leopards. Moving on, conservation status. If we talk about our UCN has listed it as vulnerable. Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora under Appendix One. Consider the following statements. Kasi Hills Autonomous District Council is a body under the sixth schedule of the Constitution. The sixth schedule of the Constitution provides for the administration of tribal areas in Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura, and Mizoram. We have to select the correct statement. Both are correct. The correct answer is option C. Khasi Hills Autonomous Council in Meghalaya is a body under the sixth schedule of the Constitution. It doesn't have the power to legislate. Paragraph 12b of the sixth schedule gives the final right of passing a law to the state legislature. The sixth schedule of the constitution provides for the administration of tribal areas in Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura, and Mizoram to safeguard the rights of the tribal population in the states. The special provision is provided under Article 244, Clause Second, and Article 275, Clause One of the Constitution. It provides for autonomy in the administration of these areas through autonomous district council, which are empowered to make laws in respect of areas under the jurisdiction. Moving on. To the next question, consider the following statements: A whistleblower can be anyone who chooses to expose wrong practices and has evidence to support the allegation. India has no specific act related to the protection of whistleblowers, and the Ministry of Law and Justice has launched a whistleblower portal as a part of Vigilance Awareness Week 2021. So we have to select the incorrect statements. First is correct, and second is incorrect. Because India has an act by the name of Whistle Blower Protection Act of 2014 to have protection for the whistleblowers, and IRIDA has launched a portal, a whistleblower portal, not the Ministry of Law. So, second and third are incorrect. First is correct. The correct answer should be option B. According to the Companies Act 2013, whistleblowing is an action aimed at drawing the attention of stakeholders to. Instances of unethical practices in the organization, and a whistleblower can be anyone who chooses to expose wrong practices, has evidence to support the allegations. In India, whistleblowers are protected by the Whistleblowers Protection Act of 2014, and recently, the Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency has launched a whistleblower portal as a part of the Vigilance Awareness Week 2021. Moving on. It is a part of the IRIDA's zero tolerance of corruption. Through this portal, IRIDA employees can raise concerns related to fraud, corruption, abuse of power. IRIDA is a mini Ratna Category One Government of India enterprise under the administrative control of Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to solar power calculator. It uses data obtained from Earth observation satellites. That are continuously monitoring the planet from polar orbit. It is about using satellite data and identifying potential areas where maximum solar energy is available per year. We have to select the correct statement. The first statement is incorrect because it uses data. The solar power calculator uses data obtained from Earth observation satellites, which are present in the geostationary orbit and not polar orbit. So first is incorrect. Second is correct. The correct answer to this question is option B. The Indian Space Research Organisation has demonstrated the method of identifying the best suited locations for installing upcoming solar power generation farms across the globe. India's state-run space agency has developed solar power calculators. So, using data obtained from its own Earth observation satellites that are continuously monitoring the planet from geostationary orbit. Okay, let's move forward. It is about using satellite data 
and identifying potential areas where maximum solar energy is, is available per year across the globe. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratna Award. It comes with a cash prize of Rs 25 lakh. The Khel Ratna Award was instituted in 1991-92. The first recipient of the award was Dhanraj Pillai. So we have to select the statement which is or are not correct. The first statement is correct that it comes with a cash prize of 25 lakh. And second is also correct that the Khel Ratna Award was instituted in 91-92. But the first ever recipient of the award was Vishwanathan Anand, the chess legend. So first and second are correct, third is incorrect. The correct answer should be option D. The Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports on Tuesday announced the list of Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratna awardees with the ceremony scheduled for November 13th at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. The now renamed Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratna award comes with a cash prize of Rs 25 lakh erstwhile it was known as Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award. Moving on, the Khel Ratna Award is, was instituted in 1991-92. The first recipient was chess legend Vishwanathan Anand and among the other winners were Leander Pace, Sachin Tendulkar, Dhanraj Pillai, Pulela Gopichand, Abhinav Vindra, Anju Bobby George, Mary Com, and Rani Rampal in 2020. Consider the following statements with respect to Ayushman CAPF. It was launched on 15th August 2021. It's a joint initiative by the Ministry of Defence and National Health Authority, so we have to select the correct statement. The first statement is incorrect because Ayushman CAPF was launched on 23rd January 2021. Second is also incorrect because it is a joint initiative of Ministry of Home Affairs with the National Health Authority. So the correct answer is option D, neither one nor two. Union Home Minister announced that the centre has extended the Ayushman CAPF healthcare scheme benefits of the Central Health Insurance Programme to the personnel of all Central Armed Police Forces Pan-India in a phased manner. It's a joint initiative by the Ministry of Home Affairs and NHA which will provide cashless healthcare services to the serving CAPF personnel from all seven forces. They are Assam Rifles, BSF, CISF, CRPF, ITBP. Launched on 23rd January 2021 in Assam, this Ayushman CAPF scheme will be implemented across the country in a phased manner. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to the infrastructure for a resilient island states. It is a part of the Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure. It has been launched by India for developing the infrastructure of small island nations vulnerable to climate change. We have to select the correct statement. Both are correct. The correct answer to this question is option C. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched infrastructure for resilient island states on the sidelines of the climate summit in Glasgow. This initiative has been launched by India for developing the infrastructure of small island nations vulnerable to climate change. The new initiative is the result of cooperation between India, UK, Australia and included the participation of leaders of small island nations such as Fiji, Jamaica, Mauritius. This initiative is a part of the Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure that would focus on building capacity, having pilot projects, especially in small island developing states. Zero virus policy, recently seen in the news belongs to which of the following countries? Indonesia, China, Venezuela, New Zealand. So the correct answer is option B, that is China. China will not give up on its zero virus policy towards local COVID-19 cases anytime soon, some experts said, as the policy has allowed it to quickly quell local outbreaks while the virus continues to spread outside its borders. Let's move on to the practice question for the next segment. With reference to production-linked incentive scheme, consider the following statements. It is an outcome and output-oriented scheme. The scheme incentivizes only the sunrise sector. We have to select the correct statement. So that's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.